Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial for you. But first, like always, a good old shout out from the Discord server. Link is down in the description where you can get a shout out at the start of the video. Or request a build to be built right here on the tutorial world. And you gotta join the tanker yard first. And then to join the tanker yard, you need to enter either your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Gamer Tag on the Discord server. And you'll be entered into the tank yard here. You have your player head immortalized forever and your name tag underneath and if that sounds good to you let's get into today's tutorial and today we are building this the sherman 3 kangaroo a canadian infantry vehicle well can they, canada why do you keep taking the turrets off of things don't you know you know turrets are a good thing all right let's get right into it <laughs> Alright, so that means, yes, we've got to go down to Canada, all the way down the line, really far down the line. Alright, almost there, there we are, I should put a, probably a faster system into getting there. Anyways, here we are in Canada, and here we have the Sherman 3 Kangaroo. So let's get started, shall we? You're going to need polished andertite, stone brick slab, stone brick stair, stone stairs, green terracotta, red terracotta, white concrete, stone slab, andertite wall. Alright. So we're going to start right here with a one, skip one, one, two, skip one, one, two, skip one, one, skip three, one, skip one, one, two, skip one, one, two, skip one, one. Now there we go. Next, we're going to one, two, three, four, four slabs. One, two, three, four, four slabs. All right, next, placeholder, placeholder, slab, slab, and on the back, Upside down stair, upside down stair. Now remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause, rewatch, rewind, and do whatever you need to do to get this unique vehicle into your world. So let's just continue. So then we're going to put stone stairs, stone brick stairs there. And right here. There we go. Next, we're going to one, two, three. One, two, three. Green terracotta blocks in those gaps. And then we're going to put one, two, two polished andersites right there. I'm going to do one, two three four five six upside down stone stairs and finish off with six stone brick slabs so one two three four five six there we go and that is your track section complete you can get rid of these materials next we're going to start on our hull so we're going to go right here and do our transmission hub right here just like that come inside and we're going to build the floor Bring it back to right here. Put a slab right there. And then one, two, right there. Now you just fill in the gaps here. Do a U shape right here. And there you have it. All right, so next, we're gonna put our Paul shaders right here and here. Then full block, full block. Upside down stair, upside down stair. And a slab. Next, just bring a full block over like that. On the front. I'm going to put a full block here, one stair on the left, and three stairs on the right. There we are. Then we're going to one, two, three, four, one, two. There we go. You don't need to have that. That's just how I can differentiate between the British vehicle and the Canadian vehicle. And we're just going to finish up with the full blocks on the sides. And there we are. Next, we're going to do more stairs right here. There we go. And we're going to put a slab right here. And remove these two blocks and put a slab right there as well. Alright, next we're going to put one, two, one, two, full blocks. Stone stair twist, stone stair twist. And right here, you can, uh, let's see, right here, you can separate the fighting compartment from the engine compartment. And come inside, put full blocks down. I can put one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. There's kind of the infantry carrying area. And we're going to do another three full blocks, three stairs, three slabs, and one, two, one, two. And there we are. All right, and that will basically do it for your main body of the Sherman 3 Kangaroo. 
And yes, this means we'll be eventually building the Sherman 3s, 4s, and 5s, and all like that. So next, cosmetics, we're going to be needing chest, dark oak wood trapdoor, iron trapdoor, heavyweighted pressure plate, green carpet, dried kelp block, barrel, dark oak wood trapdoor, and an end rod to start out with. End rod's going to go right here, very simple. Dried kelp blocks, two right here, one barrel. Chests, one, two, and three. There we go. Iron trap doors, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. That does that. Dark oak wood fence gates, one, two, three. Open the ends. One, two, three, open the ends. Skip a space and put one, two of the dark oak wood trap doors. One on the back. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Right there. In fact, these are actually supposed to be down below one. There we go. There we go. All right. And then we're going to put two right here, one right there, one right there. There we go. All right, let's get the rest, which will be ladder, dark oak wood button, iron trapdoor, item frame, and glass pane. Your iron bars are going to go right here for the antenna. One, two, three, four. There we go. Ladders on the side. Just like that. Dark oak wood buttons. And there we go. Alright. Heavy weighted pressure plates right here. One, two, three. Green carpet. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, no. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. There we are. And your last bit of material are your item frames, one, two, and then your glass panes, one, and two. And there we have it, folks. You have successfully made the Sherman 3 Kangaroo Canadian World War II Infantry Carrier. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button, wherever you're going to move to. Hit the subscribe button as well. I love a new addition to my wonderful, wonderful subscriber. Thank you guys so much for doing what you do, like and subscribing and sharing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description for you. We can have fun. We can chat. We can talk. You can post stuff. You can post the memes. And if you like posting memes, then this is Discord's for you. So if that sounds good to you, remember to like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>